What's up guys? Today we have a problem we need to solve for safety and inspection. The uh, emergency brake, the pedal just goes to the floor without any effort. As, as the car gets older, some of the cables for emergency brake might uh, rust and break and that's what happened to me. So let me show you how to fix that. Here underneath the car on the driver's side, in the rear, we can see the problem. The cable right at the pull lever broke from rust and corrosion. Luckily, the way this is designed, there is a loop, a metal loop on the end of the cable. You get the cable as one piece and we can replace it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. There isn't actually a lot that holds this in place other than the tension of once it's installed. So. That's how that hooks on there. It looks like the replacement I got is a revised design that instead of this plastic pin to hold it in here There's a retainer ring on this side. So I'm going to pry this out of here and then compare to the other side.
This is the emergency brake cable for the driver's side. It's here. It's the top one in this bracket, the one I'm holding. And then it goes into this bracket for adjustment. So if I back this nut off, this guy should come out and then I could do the driver's side replacement by itself and see if the emergency brake holds up before I do the other side. So let's get this guy off here so then I can push this out of the hole because it just has a lip on it. For this joint, I was able to just beat it out of there. <clears throat> As that plastic collar, I just beat it out of there with this hammer and this chisel. So now it's free. This here, if you if you have slack and you get to here, then there's only cable. You can slip the cable through the end of this fork. Now this is pretty rusted. I can't get this nut to back off. So I think I might cut this band to have this bracket let go. And then I'll just put a different crimp clamp on to hold it together. I broke this clamp free because this is all one piece. The only way to get this out of here is get that clamp off. So now I can I can flex this, make it open to let go of this here. Before we get into it, I want to show you guys and compare. You saw what's there, it's pretty rusty. Dorman 660025 is a replacement for the rear left. And 660026 is a replacement for the right hand side parking brake. If only one side is bad, you only need to do that side. You can see the, the angle piece and a rubber boot to protect it, to, to limit that, that, the rusting that we saw on mine and the end hook, it's all one piece. So we don't have to worry about threading a cable or anything, we can just get this in there, join it to the bracket, and then we should have a parking brake again. The passenger side was not in good shape and its boot was gone as well. So that's why I got this side as well, because I'm going to have the center cable apart anyway. Before I work to take this off, I want to make sure we have the same part here. This, this replacement part cable length is the same. The, the hard bend and protective sheath is the same length. So we know this is going to work. And the only difference is instead of the plastic pin holding this in, there's a clip on this side that just gets pushed in after this goes in the hole because these are the same diameter and instead of the 
nylon retainer. There's these wings. As it gets pushed in, once it's all the way in there, it stays. And then this will get the driver's side back in there, and then we'll adjust this to be tight and not change the passenger yet. Although I'm a little worried with this one in there that's new, it may rip the passenger side apart, but that's one of the reasons I got the passenger just in case. So let's get this on there. To get this out of here, I pried the bolt up and I made this open without that clip on there. So now I was able to pry this out. I need this to rejoin the cables together. So now this is one piece. And these are different. Let me see what I can do to make this same thing to go in this bracket. I opened up the end and I pushed this, this nutted bell in here. It'll probably stay in there by itself, but to be sure, I don't have any crimp clamps. I'll put this hose clamp on here so this can't open. I think that'll do it. As we work to get the cable reattached to the lever, this needs to go the hole through the hole of the emergency brake bracket after we get it onto here. That's why there's this notch. So we get it on there and then we can swing in. And then this retainer clip will hold it in place instead of the plastic rivet that was there before. First push this in here and then hook this on. I pushed all the slack of the cable in to the line so I have the slack here so I can get it around this bend and then push this in and put the retainer on. Okay, now we have the clip on there. That's not going anywhere. And we put this back on. Before we thread this in here and adjust this to be tight, we'll dip the cable back in this side. We dip the cable back in the gap and then this can come back up on this and then this will pull tension this way towards passenger side whenever the passenger side gets tightened and then that will pull driver's side. Okay, we put this back together. Now, this is in this slot. And this vibration dampener is back towards this side. And this is the wide side where 
comes to the side. I tighten this. It's it's about where it was before. I tested the emergency brake, it works. So I tighten this and then I tighten this clamp to make sure this can't open anymore. Uh, it probably wasn't necessary, but it had a clamp before, so I put one there. So now we got new driver's side emergency brake line cable. And the brakes work. Now, the passenger side, if you let up the slack, you attach the passenger side with this clamp here. But the emergency brake is working, so I'm not I'm not gonna mess with this right now. I'm just going to set that passenger side mercy brake to the side. 